Hi you guys, it's me April with Hair 101 and today I am going to show you guys how I pretend to have long hair. So basically I've been trying to grow my hair out and once it gets to this length I kind of am just like, what do I do with it? And I want, the reason why I'm growing it out is I want to do some fun braids and ponytails and stuff like that that you can't do with short hair. So this has been my little hack that I've been doing lately. Um, I'm gonna do a few of these videos as I grow my hair out because I think it's fun to be able to show how you can kind of transition into the styles you want in the long run, but like get them now. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that with just a few simple things and a clip and extension. So this is the extension I'm going to be using. It matches my hair, it's kind of like ombre a little bit, but it has three clips on the back of it. And this brand is Tresmerize and I have the whole kit. I could wear the whole thing and have like long hair everywhere if I want because it's made for short hair. It even has like a topper piece that covers the top so you don't have a mullet. But I've been using just pieces of it lately to do kind of updo stuff. So um, I usually put this right in the back on my right side when I do this style. So I'm going to go ahead and put that there right now. And all I do is I just part it right below the roll of my head. I add a little bit of hairspray or there's a product that Big Sexy makes that's called Root. Um, oh, it's called Powder Play. So um, I either stick a little bit of powder play down there to get grip or I do some hairspray. So let's do a little hairspray. If you're worried about it slipping out, if your hair is really short after you hairspray it, you can back comb it up a little bit just to kind of set a base for those clips to claw into. I mean, that's basic application for any clip-in hair extensions, so there you go. So once you feel like it's in there nice and tight, it's not going to go anywhere, just let the rest of that hair down. And now we're going to start on this braid. So I have my hair parted on the right side. It's usually just where I part it. You could definitely do this on the other side or down the middle, whatever works. I think it looks better on the side. So I'm just gonna pick up the big chunk of hair at the top. And I think your hair should be at least like, like below your chin shoulder length to be able to pull this off. Otherwise the hair could be falling out, but you can try it. I mean, you can add a couple more extensions in places to give you a little bit more grip. Um, and before we start, here is some prep for the hair. This helps a ton. If your hair is super clean, you're going to want to make it feel a little bit dirty with some spray clay. This is the Style Sexy Hair by Sexy Hair Concepts. And this just gives it like that second day grip hair, but it smells good. So if you're like, oh, dang it, I had to wash my hair, or I washed my hair today, and I really wanted to do this fun style, you can still do it. You just need to get some texture in there. So you could spray that in there. My hair's on its third day, so I actually don't need this. If your hair's like mine and it's on its third day and you're like, oh, I need to freshen it up, then you just do some dry shampoo. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of dry shampoo. And then it's ready to go. All right, so this is going to be a Dutch French braid, and that just means you're flipping the strands underneath. And French braid is when you're grabbing more hair to add into it. So you add in a little bit of hair, and I always flip it and then add because it's easier for me to hold, but everybody braids a little bit different. So if you braid different than me, that's fine. Basically just doing a French, a Dutch French braid. And adding in, and you're just gonna continue to do this add in, grabbing chunks of hair, trying to get it to stay down and lock in together. If it's not locking in, you probably need to add some more texture, hairspray, dry wax, whatever you need to do. And I'm just going all the way until I get this hair down to like the back of my neck. So I can feel here that I'm going to start getting some of the extension. That's good because we need to have some length to add into this. So I'm going to flip my hair around like this and I'm just kind of adding in chunks at the bottom. So when you get to this point, you can grab the rest of the hair, all of it, into a side ponytail here. And I use a clear elastic. 
And I always double check and make sure that my hair is covering the extension in the back just because you don't want that showing. All right, so we have everything in this clear elastic down here. So you can tell if I just had my normal hair, it'd be this little stubby. I mean, that's fine too, but I really like it to have more length because I'm gonna braid this and then I'm gonna wrap it in like a little braided bun updo right here. So now all I need to do is make sure that this is secure. So I take a couple bobby pins and I just kind of grab some of those ends because you know that they're gonna eventually throughout the day come loose a little bit. And it's gonna help a lot to just have a few bobby pins down in that short hair that's barely hanging on to that clear ponytail. Okay, also at this point, I usually shoot this with a little bit of hairspray. And you can go through and even pancake this a little bit if you want your, it's really easy to pancake these on short hair because there's like barely anything holding it in. So lots of hairspray, lots and lots of hairspray. All right, now we're moving on to this ponytail. So this is a little tricky. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you have some texture in it. Like I said, it's all about the texture at this point. I'm just gonna turn around and braid this. So you're gonna split it into three braids and you have to make sure that the three sections are even with the long part of the hair. Because your natural hair is not really gonna to matter too much at this point, it's more about the extension. And you're just gonna braid. It doesn't matter if it's Dutch or regular because you're gonna be rolling it into a braid anyway. But yeah, braid this extension down. <laughs> And then you have to make sure on this braid that you pancake it because look how tight and little it is. It's not cute. There we go, pancake, make it nice and thick. And one more clear elastic at the very bottom of your little braid. And you can tell there's like messy pieces sticking out in the, like the base of this braid. That's okay because we're making it into a messy bun. So now we're going to take it and just kind of wrap this pancaked braid around until we have a little bun like so with some pokies sticking out of it and that's okay because you can mess with those with bobby pins later or just leave them it might be cute i always just pin it down a few places first like i grab that elastic from the braid underneath and i make sure bobby pins going through that because that's going to hold the base in and then i usually go one on the other side and then you have to grab a mirror and check your work so you're gonna look for any weird pieces that just like, oh, that doesn't look right, you know? And you can kind of stretch them up. Like this part needs to be a little bit higher in my opinion. So I'm gonna pull that up and hold it with my finger. And then just grab a bobby pin and maybe another bobby pin. When you're working with short hair, you wanna make sure you get it in there. All right, you guys, and just end with a lot of hairspray. and you're done. Thumbs up, you guys, if you want to. <laughs> I'm choking on hairspray. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like this hairstyle. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and I want to know if you guys try it, especially if you have short hair. If you have long hair, of course, just don't add an extension and keep going, and you have this awesome hairdo, so. But hopefully this helps some of you short, growing out girls. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you guys next time, and I love you all. Bye!